The hospitality industry is one of the oldest in the world because travelers have always needed a place to rest their heads. Most historic hotels have been modernized with technology, but you can see the marks of their ages. These resilient buildings can stand for decades or even centuries. Keep watching as we present the oldest hotel in the world. Hotel de Coronado, San Diego this hotel was built in 1988, and since then it's gathered a guest list that includes Charlie Chaplin, Gutta Garbo, and Jimmy Stewart. It was even used as the filming location for Marilyn Monroe's Some Like It Hot. The 679-room hotel has been designated a National Historic Landmark. It also has a fitness center, two pools, a spa, a restaurant, a variety of shops, and more. The Willard Intercontinental, Washington, D.C. This hotel was built in 1816 as a series of six homes, but was remodeled into a 12-story hotel in the 1900s. Almost every president has stayed here, and it's also where Martin Luther King Jr. wrote his famous I Have a Dream speech. The lobby has impressive terrazzo floors and marble columns. There's also a French restaurant called Café du Parc that's earned a Forbes Travel Guide recommendation. It has a fitness center and a spa as well. There are 335 rooms and a standard one starts at 250 bucks. Palmer House, Chicago, Illinois Potter Palmer built this hotel in 1871 as a gift for his bride, Bertha. It fell to the Great Chicago Fire 13 days later, but was rebuilt in two years. The lobby chandeliers and painted ceilings will immediately draw you in. There's an indoor pool, spa, and fitness center. Frank Sinatra and Charles Dickens are just a few of the famous faces that have come to see its beauty, and rooms start at about 170 bucks. The Peabody, Memphis, Tennessee this 464-room hotel opened in 1869 and was renovated in 1925. It's known for being the location of Elvis Presley's senior prom and for its daily duck parade. The on-site restaurant, Chez Philippe's, was voted one of the most romantic in the country. If you want to impress your date, you can rent a Romeo and Juliet suite with loft bedrooms, a spiral staircase, and parlors with a fireplace or wet bar. Traditional suites start at $226 a night. Omni Parker House, Boston, Massachusetts. This 161-year-old 551-room hotel was founded in 1855 and is the longest continuously operating hotel in the U.S. It was also the first to offer running water and elevators. It's been attracting plenty of well-known names since then. Charles Dickens gave his first reading of A Christmas Carol, JFK proposed to Jackie, and Ho Chi Minh baked in the basement kitchen. Speaking of the kitchen, it's one of the best places to get Boston cream pie. The lobby still features old-fashioned seating and photos, but modern touches such as a state-of-the-art gym and flat-screen TVs have been added to the rooms. A standard room with one bed starts at $260. Kelly House Hotel, Edgartown, Massachusetts This historic hotel opened in 1742 and was once known simply as The Tavern. It was a resting place for sailors during the American Revolution. You can enjoy a drink at the Colonial Pub and Restaurant like they did hundreds of years ago or relax at the private pool. A one-bedroom suite ranges from $400 to $600. Concord's Colonial Inn, Concord, Massachusetts There's an even better place to go if you want to experience the American Revolution and its history during your stay. Erected in 1716, this was likely the first hotel in what would eventually become the United States of America. It also played an important part in the war, serving as a military hospital, weapons storehouse, and morgue. It officially became an inn in 1889, and its history makes it one of the best for ghost hunters and fans of paranormal activity. Book a night for as low as 144 bucks if you dare. El Convento, Puerto Rico King Philip IV ordered this Carmelite convent in 1646. It fell into disrepair and was closed in 1903, becoming a retail store, dance hall, and flop house. The hotel that sits here today pays homage to its former beauty with marble bathrooms, Andalusian tile floors, mahogany beams, and a 350-year-old Nispero tree in the courtyard. It also has modern amenities such as a fitness center, pool, hot tub, and flat-screen TVs. Petit Palace Posada del Pain Hotel, Madrid, Spain 
This hotel was built in 1610 and is the oldest in Spain. Its name translates to Hair Combs Inn. This clever name allegedly comes from the fact that each room originally had a comb with a piece of string attached to it to stave off burglaries. Gripsholms Varchus Marifred, Sweden This building was erected on the foundation of a Carthusian monastery in 1493. It then became a hospice in 1609 and is Sweden's oldest hotel. You'll get a truly historic experience while sleeping on beds made from 500-year-old wood found underground during a renovation. Hotel Kron Solothurn, Switzerland This hotel opened in 1418, but it didn't become popular until it had a few important guests. The French ambassador and his group showed up in 1554 and decided they wanted to make it look as much like the Palace of Versailles as possible. Hotel Crone became an opulent spot that attracted all of the most dedicated party animals in Europe. It's closed pending a $20 million renovation, but that only goes to show how much of a palace they had turned it into. Goldener Adler, Innsbruck, Austria this hotel was built in 1390 and is a must-stay for any fans of The Sound of Music. The real Von Trapp family stayed here. They're not the only famous names either. Others include Mozart, Goethe, Joseph II, Ludwig I of Bavaria, and several other Austrian kings and noblemen. The rooms have been modernized, but the history of the important hotel is still on display. It has thick walls, timber ceilings, and stained glass. Hotel Rotterhan Rottenburg, Germany. This hotel was opened in 1380. Merchants and commoners have stayed, but so have royalty. Gustav Adolf, King of Sweden, reportedly stayed twice. The hotel is also surrounded by legend. Its owner, Mayor George Nusch, reportedly saved the town of Rottenburg during the Thirty Years' War. General Zirklach Tilly said he would spare them if anyone could drink a gallon of wine in an hour, and George did. Other versions of the story said he had to eat seven saltines in 60 seconds. Whatever the truth, it's an important part of German history, and that alone makes it worth a stay. Al Capello Rosso, Bologna, Italy This hotel outside Bologna's walls, built in 1375, was more of a safe house. It protected traveling Jews despite giving them rigid rules to follow. The Officio della Bolette was a government building that sat next to the hotel. It made sure they didn't break the law by not staying in the hotel or staying for more than three days. Al Capello Rosso has modernized itself since its inception. It has themed rooms such as the American Icon Suite and the Typewriter Room. Orso Grigio this hotel opened in Austria as Grauer Bar, which translates to Grey Bear, in 1300. It was moved to Italy and kept the same name but in Italian. The hotel provided lodging for travelers and salesmen in the city of Ronson when it was a thriving market town. It also served as a military hospital during World War I. The Old Bell, United Kingdom There are actually two hotels that bear this name in the UK. The Old Bell in Malmesbury dates back to 1220. It was a home for guests and dignitaries and once had the second largest library in Europe. Other signs of its storied past include the hooded stone fireplace and eight stone coffins in the basement. The Old Bell in Hurley is the oldest, opening in 1135. It was meant as a place to stop during pilgrimages to the nearby St. Benedict. It housed everyone from kings to commoners and was an important meeting place during war. Winston Churchill and Dwight Eisenhower reportedly stopped here during World War II, and plans in the 17th century to overthrow James II were held in the secret tunnel. Zumrotzen Baron, Freiburg, Germany. This is the oldest hotel in Europe. It was built in 1120, before the town it sits in was even founded. The resilient building has lasted through the Black Plague, witch hunts, revolutions, and three wars. It's had 51 landlords who've all kept its original name and architecture. Hoshi Ryoken, Komatsu, Japan The legend behind this hotel says that a Buddhist priest instructed his disciple, Garyo Hoshi, to build a hotel here. It was right on top of naturally healing hot springs, making it a perfect place to stop and relax. Nishiyama Osekin, Japan This hotel is the only one that even comes close to Hoshi Ryokin's record. In fact, it's the oldest continuously running hotel in the world. Nishiyama Osekin has been in business since 705 AD. 
Fujiwara Mahito founded it, and it's been run by the same family for 52 generations. Its most famous attraction is Mochitani no Yu. These baths received water directly from the hot springs that's so clear you can drink it. There are 37 rooms in the traditional Japanese style, and they begin at $408 a night. Now it's time to hear from you. What's the best hotel you've ever stayed in? Let us know in the comments section below.